Mariana and I'm here in London outside the Priory Church of St. Bartholomew the Great. This church has been in continuous use since year 1143 and it is now an active Anglican church. Have you been able to guess what sound we're going to be learning today? Yes, it's the N sound. So, in order to pronounce this sound, what you need to do is part your mouth a bit and bring your tongue to the roof of your mouth and then vocalise, like so. N. 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 Really good work. OK. So why don't we try and pronounce some words together that have the n sound within them. This is the church of Saint Bartholomew the Great. And as you can see over there, there's a sculpture of Bartholomew the Great in front of it. So repeat after me. Saint. 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 Now as you can see, I'm sitting on a bench. 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 Now if you take a look at the church back there, you'll be able to see its beautiful windows. Window. 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 And what you, you can usually find in most churches are graveyards where there's lots of gravestones and there's a few in here as well that's a gravestone 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 really good work okay so now it's time for the fun part we're going to do our tongue twister so let's start off nice and slowly. Repeat after me. Nine nice nurses work till noon. Nine nice nurses worked till noon. Nine nice nurses worked till noon. <laughs> really, really good work. But I think that you could try it a little bit faster than that. Nine nice nurses work till noon. Nine nice nurses work till noon. Nine nice nurses work till noon. Did you get that? Well done, really good work. Now the n sound is very, very important in the English language and we use it for lots of different phrases. One example would be when you'd like to find out information about something. You might ask somebody, can you tell me when the Church of St. Bartholomew was built? Repeat after me. Can you tell me? Can you tell me? Can you tell me? Can you tell me? The next phrase is, do you know? And you might use this also when you want to get some information about something from somebody. For example, do you know whose gravestone this is? Do you know? Do you know? Do you know? Another polite phrase you might want to use is, I wonder if... And you might use this when you'd like to get information from somebody in a polite way. So, you might say, I wonder if you'd be able to tell me where the nearest station is. I wonder if. I wonder if. I wonder if. 
Okay, so unfortunately, that's it for today's programme. We've been here in London, outside the Priory Church of St. Bartholomew the Great. I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye.